Hi, everyone. My name is Anaira Singhani, and I am an associate developer advocate over here with MongoDB. So are you ready to hit the ground running with less code, fewer database complexities, and easier platform integration? If you are, then this tutorial on navigating Murello and MongoDB Atlas is the perfect tutorial for you. So if you've never heard of Murello before, you're probably wondering what it is. Murello is a platform that utilizes artificial intelligence, APIs, and the power of the cloud to help developers better interact with their stored data. So this very straightforward approach to data programming will actually allow for developers to work with their data from their applications, which in turn actually improves scalability and efficiency while ensuring full transparency. So watch along as I show you how to properly set up a Neurello account, how to connect it with your MongoDB Atlas account, how to use Neurello's API playground to interact with the collection, and how to create complex queries using Neurello's AI Assist feature. In order to be successful for this tutorial, you will need a MongoDB Atlas account, and you will need a MongoDB Atlas cluster already spun up and loaded, ready to go with our sample collection loaded in. We are going to be using our sample restaurants collection for this tutorial. If you need any help at all with figuring out how to spin up a cluster or you haven't used MongoDB Atlas before, please check out the description below where there will be resources to help guide you through. Once that's all ready, let's get started. Our first step is just to make sure that we have a MongoDB Atlas cluster ready. If needed, please refer to the description box below where I will link resources on how to create a cluster. When you're creating your cluster, please ensure that you have a memorable username and password and that you have the proper network permissions in place. To make things easier, you can always use 0.0.0.0 as the IP address, but please know that it's not recommended for production or if you have sensitive information inside of your cluster. Once the cluster is set up, which I've already done, you need to load in the sample data set. I've done that as well, and it should look like this. Once it's properly set up, the database that we're going to be focusing on is sample restaurants and the collection that we're going to be focusing on is restaurants. Once our cluster is fully set up, we can head over to Neurello and create our account if not already done. And then all the fun can begin. Once you have created your free account on Neurello, you will see this home screen. I already have one project running, but if you've never used Neurello before, you probably don't have any, and that's totally fine. I'm going to show you how to create a new project. What you're going to do is head over here to this orange button and hit the new button. As you can see, this pop-up is going to come up, and the organization name is actually automatically filled out for you. But we do need a unique name for our project. So I'm just going to name this Neurello Video. And then we need to select a database engine. So we're going to be using MongoDB, of course. And then we don't need to use a programming language because that's not important for our tutorial now. But I am a Python developer. So if I was going to be using everything that we're learning in this tutorial in an actual application, I would be using Python. And then once again, description, not completely necessary, but it is good to fill it in if you need future you to know what's going on or team members to know what's going on. So I can just say project for Neurello video. And then let's go down here and click on the orange create button. So once you click on that button, you're actually going to see this screen and it's going to have three different options. And so how would you like to start with a quick start introspection or empty project? So for us, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the quick start button. The other two options are there for you to explore once you're no longer new, a little bit more dif difficult. So let's start over here with quick start. As you can see, um, you're going to be taken to these five steps. It guides you through how to use Neurello um, and how to make the most out of it. And if you've never used it before, it makes everything very, very straightforward. So go over to the orange button and hit connect data source. So we can name our data source anything we want. I'm just going to do like Neurello connection. Keep it simple. And then our connection string, we're going to take from MongoDB. 
So go over here and hit connect. Then we're just going to use compass. You can use any of the connection strings, but I'm just going to use this one because it's a little bit shorter. Go over here and then paste it in. Don't forget to put in your password. So mine is MongoDB, MongoDB. And then at the end, we're going to include sample restaurant. Let me make sure that I spell that correctly. And that is our collection. So then we hit submit. Now we are going to click on the orange new environment button. So in Urello, environments are actually used so developers can run their APIs. Environment name, we can just do sample env. And then for region, I am in the East Coast. We want our Urello connection because that's what we named our data source. Perfect. And then we can hit create. Once your environment is successfully created, it's going to turn green and you can continue on to creating a new API key. So I can just click here and we can go Murello video key and then hit create. And then of course, store it privately. I'm going to copy so that I have it. And normally you're supposed to put it in a safe location, of course. If you lose it, you're going to need to generate a new one. And then the last step is to activate the runners by clicking this button. Awesome. And then once that works and turns green, congratulations, you have successfully created a project in Nurello. So now we are ready to filter data using the Nurello playground. We can actually play around with the documents inside of our MongoDB collection and filter through them using this API playground. First up first, of course, is to include our API key. So in order to do that, just head over to headers and then I've already copied and pasted it in, but just paste it from before. This just makes sure that you're properly connected to the correct environment. So now we can actually access all of the documents inside of our MongoDB database. For those who haven't used our sample collection before, the documents just look like this. Over here, hit browse collections. And then we wanna focus on these sample restaurants and they look like this. There's a lot of information about it, including borough, cuisine, the grades, name, restaurant ID, the address, and then specifics about the address, and just a ton of information, which is fantastic. And just keep that in mind while we're building out our filtering over here. So let's say that we want to return multiple documents from our restaurant category but we want to return restaurants that are located in the borough of Brooklyn in New York. And we want those restaurants that serve American cuisine only. So to utilize Norello's API to find us five restaurants, first what we need to do is go over here and click on the get find many restaurants. Go back up here and click parameters. And then we can start putting them in. So for select, what we want is we want the ID. We want that to be true. We want the burrow. And we want this to be true as well. We want cuisine, true. And then we also, of course, want the name to show because if you don't see the name of the restaurant, how do you know which restaurant it is? So that one is gonna be true as well. Next one is the actual filter. So how are we gonna filter through? Reminder, what we want is the burrow. We want the burrow to equal Brooklyn. And then we want the cuisine to equal American food. So in order to do that, we can use our and operator, then some brackets. Borough is going to equals Brooklyn, right? And then put the comma outside of the bracket. And we want cuisine to be equal equals American. All right, perfect. Let me just double check my brackets. Great, that looks good, that should work. And just a reminder, so we want restaurants that equal Brooklyn, Borough, and American cuisine. And as you can see, kind of intuitive, that's why we have the and operator, so the equals comes into place. This kind of stuff can get a little bit confusing, but there is extensive documentation and I will include links in the description below. 
Now we have thousands of documents inside of our collection. Let me just go over and show you how many documents are here. We have 25,000 documents. We do not need all of them. Let's say we only want five. That's just our value. Let's go over here, run it, and see what happens. Five documents have been returned to us, and they only include the borough, the cuisine, and the name. And the ID, of course, but that's because we included it in the select key. Fantastic. So as you can see, kind of from our output, if you are familiar with MongoDB already, the select feature maps to our project operator. So this means that we are just choosing which field from our document to show in our output. The filter feature mimics our match operator and the take feature mimics our limit operator. So if you're not familiar with Neurella, but you are with MongoDB, this could be a good way of thinking about it and understanding the parameters and the keys versus our operators that we already have. So this is just one simple example, but the opportunities truly are endless. And once you become familiar with these APIs, you can use these APIs to build your applications with MongoDB. Let's move on to complex queries inside of Neurello. So let's say that you have a use case where Neurello's auto-generated endpoints do not give us the results that we want. We can actually create complex queries very easily. We wanna be able to create our own custom endpoints for more complex queries that are necessary to filter through results that we want. So these queries can be aggregation pipelines, bind queries, or any query that MongoDB supports, depending on the use case. Let's run through an example together. First things first, we want to access our Neurello home page. So just exit this out. Go over here to dashboard and just make sure that you're in the project that we created earlier. So for me, it was the Neurello video project. Then we can click on definitions on the left hand side of the screen. And from here, we can click on custom queries. Click on the orange new button in the middle of the screen to add a new custom query endpoint. And I'm just going to name mine as complex query and then just hit submit. So a really cool thing about Neurello is that you can use their AI assist feature to help come up with the query that you're looking for. It's built upon LLMs and AI Assist for complex queries can help you come up with the code that you need if you're unsure how to code or if you need a little bit of a push in the right direction. So let's click on this AI Assist and let's see what we can do. First, let's type in the same prompt that we wanted from before. So before we went directly to the endpoint, but now let's try and see if we can create it ourselves. And we can just type in a prompt that says, please, Give me all restaurants that are in Brooklyn and our American cuisine. Awesome. And then just hit the send button. Nice. So it gives us back this little query that just says find restaurants and then the filter of burrow and cuisine. The cool thing about AI Assist is that you can update the prompt to include the projections to be returned. I can actually change the prompt to this. So get me all restaurants that are in Brooklyn and serve American cuisine and show me the name of the restaurants. Perfect. So hit send. And it'll get you something like that, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, you can go in and you can edit it yourself. And you can edit it by just going, use this, which is cool. So as you can see, AI Assist actually came up with a valid complex query that we are able to build upon and edit. So once again, like this is very helpful if we aren't familiar with syntax, if we don't feel like scrolling through documentation, if we really just don't know where to start, AI Assist can help. So we can edit it to help better with our use case. So let's say that we want under the projection, we want, it gave us the name, which is pretty good. But let's say that we want the ID as well, or we actually don't want the ID. We, we don't, so we're gonna put zero instead of one, but we do want the name, which is why it's one. We want the borough. Don't forget your commas. 
So that's going to be a one. And then what are we missing? We're missing cuisine. So we want that. Perfect. And then we can go over here once we're happy with it and click the orange test theory button. Okay, so first I'm going to copy in my API key from before. It's good to have this saved in another file in a sticky note on your uh, on your laptop or just keep it copied so that you can run it. Awesome. And then as you can see, you have this fantastic output. And it has all of the American restaurants that are located in the borough of Brooklyn. You can actually now commit and deploy this as a custom endpoint in your Norello environment and call this API from your applications. Fantastic job. This tutorial has taken you through how to create a Norello account, how to connect your Norello account to your MongoDB Atlas cluster, how to explore Norello's API playground, and how to even create complex queries using Norello's AI Assist function. Now that you're familiar with the basics, you can always take things a step further and incorporate the above learnings in a new application. For help, Norello and MongoDB have a huge variety of resources, videos, and so much documentation. I'm going to link some of that below. And thank you so much for watching and for following along, and I'll see you next time.